Hello Aquarius and welcome to the channel. I am Marvin. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. Aquas, what is good? Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. Uh, let's get started. This is, gonna this is going to continue the EIC through the signs, energy check-in um, for Aries season. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be closing you up out of here so we can get to our next series, okay? Aquarius, everything that you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. Let's get started. If you are an Aries sun and rising, when the new moon occurred, this is affecting you in your third house. If you're interested in what that means for you specifically, please check out the Moon Pools podcast, that video of the experience of the entire new moon experience. Um, we give you audio in the podcast version. We give you video in the visual version. Um, so you can not only see the card, but you also listen to me telling you, you know, real time how that's going to affect you in three different areas, relationships, money and career or two, two and a half, whatever. Um, so this is no different. Let's get started. All right. Please look out for that. Um, now for um, everybody else, this is your card, the world. I have taken the liberty of taking this and shuffling off camera. You got the world and that's the card of 29. This is what we have for that card. You're opening up. This is the card of expansion. Opening up. It's hitting you in your third house if you're a sun and rising. But this is this, this also when we look at this. Um, I want you to understand that when you're opening up, that also is talking about your third house as well. All right. This is your card. It's reminding you to expand your vision, your vision to broader options. The world is wide. So there's a lot out there to consider in the modern age of technology. This could be specifically referring to creating or expanding to a more global network or through the Internet or social media or social marketing. You have unlimited resources is what this means. OK. Unlimited resources to you. It's time to think big, Aqua Collective. As they say, the world is your oyster. So get ready to gobble it up. All right, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that would mean that 1 plus 2 is 3. This is about your communication. There's something that your communication is holding you back from. There's something that you need to be doing your communication and the way that you see things or the lens in which you're seeing things needs to be revisited. Okay. Revisit it. Let's go ahead and get some tarot and find out what, what, what's coming out. Remember, this is not the at all be all. This is just an energy check in. And this could be some of the things in which, um, could be happening as a result of, um, of this world card. Okay. Some of you guys go on a trip, book that cruise, go ahead and put your money together, do what you got to do. Okay. Because what I'm telling you is, is that it's time to get out of here. Time to get out of here. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Spirit, this is for Aquarius. All right. All right. Some of you guys are definitely connecting with a Capricorn. Uh-oh. You're definitely connected with a Scorpio. If not, their energy is in your chart. You're walking away from something that no longer serves you. Top of the deck. Uh-oh. Page of Swords. We're going to pull for the bottom energy. It just is easier this way. Just in case these cards collapse. Thank you, Spirit. King of Wands. All right. This is our story. First of all, there's a lot of damn obstacles. It seems like every time you, talk, you take two steps forward, you take two steps back. All right. This is the messenger of something. There's always something. There's going to be something else. Your communication needs to expand. There's something that you need to open yourself up to as far as what you have been speaking out. 
Page of Swords. Uh, for some of you guys, this could represent, let's get this out the way, um, because this is not all of you. But some of you, if you're a mother, this is what we're talking about. That child that's coming back in and has issues with something. That represents that, that, that message of something needs to be corrected, something needs to be reviewed, something needs to be this, something needs to be that. This is that card of constantly feeling like I thought I took care of that and here it is again rearing its ugly head. In the past, what were you excited about? Who were you excited about? Who fed you a dream? You were excited about something. You were excited about the prospect of something. I believe that it had a lot to do with, um, when I'm looking at this, it really does look like a way of being. So maybe you have fire. You're one of those Aquarians that have some fire somewhere. Um, if this doesn't represent a person you allowed yourself, then, then it's you and the energy allowed yourself to get opened up by something or someone that some, some something that someone was telling you. Um, it could have been a promise of a promotion or just the positive reinforcement that you guys need when you hear that, you know, oh, you, you cook the best or you diss the best, you that the best, this person that, that this person or energy or opportunity represented here talks about that in your past. And I think that there was something that was offered to you that maybe was taken away or that you did not do. Maybe you didn't feel confident enough. Maybe it was a missed opportunity. But as a result of that, the devil is here telling us we need to revisit our habits. We think we're stuck in something when something doesn't happen to us the way that it would, the, the way that we want. But a lot of the times, depending on the lens in which you look through Aqua, and I don't know what's in all of you guys' charts, but we look every damn where else instead of looking at ourselves. It's always, do you have that mentality where I couldn't do this because... I didn't have enough time or this person didn't give me enough time is always what some or this. This is my favorite. You didn't give me a chance. I don't give out chances. I don't have a chance company that you come and you set an appointment and I physically hand you a chance that doesn't exist. So if that's you get out of that because that's what this devil is here to do. I didn't get a chance or are you one of those individuals where you thought, well, I thought you could think all you want but is that thought based upon reality is it reality is it something that has been shown to you is it something that you have seen with your own two eyes is it tangible okay because that's what Capricorn goes off of but this is a habit gambling the way that you think holds you back your lack of communication holds you back. What is it? Whatever it is, it needs to change because the world is out there. And this is spirit telling you that if these things don't change, you're going to be right where you are. What do we need to change? Do you see what this card represents? You want to be forced into changes and then resent them. Or do you want to take the bull by its horns and do it before shit hits the fan? OK. And then finally, it's time to walk away from something that no longer serves you. It is. It doesn't serve you. It don't matter what it's given, what it's given to you. It's not serving you. And a lot of people don't know. I don't know what that means. When a person tells me that they don't know what something means, honestly, if it requires you to use your own brain and you tell me that you don't know what it means nine times out of ten, you, it's not that you don't know what it means. You just want somebody to tell you the answer. I'm sorry. Some of you guys may say, well, what's wrong with that? I am reading for the Aquarius Collective. I'm going to tell you what's wrong with that because you're get, you're make, you want me to bear your water to tell you what's going on in your life. But really, the only person that knows that is you. And I'm going to say, if you don't know, then go find out. Believe in something. How did I find out? I read a book. I, I watched something. I did research. What does research entail? Reading, writing, watching, research, asking people you trust. All of the, That's what you have to do. And if you found that resource, 
and you've done that research, then just know that something needs to change. The world is not going to be opened up to you until something changes. And these cards that you see in front of you, especially these two, means that there is a habit that needs to die. Period. Period. And that you need to walk away from whatever this is that's, that's keeping you stuck so the world can be opened up to you. That is really this what this is in the nutshell. And I'm going to tell you, if you decide not to do that, then death will come in and do it itself. The devil is, is telling you what's there. Death is going to happen regardless. Death is an action card. Death is the verb here. You don't walk away from this. It's going to bring it down. It's just like the tower. When you see that collapse happening, it doesn't matter whether you wanted it or not. Period. You got to get ready. You have to stop allowing this person to pop up. Bring in a new damn obstacle. And let me tell you one more thing before I close you out. Nine times out of ten, these obstacles that keep popping up is because of an action that didn't get taken. I guarantee you can argue with me. We can do it. I'm telling you, something needs to be done. And if you find that you feel like, no, I'm just being picked on, Marv, or you know, this is just unfair, then this is what I'm going to tell you then. Leave that situation. Because staying in the situation only means that somehow you're going to stay doing the same thing, but you're expecting them to one day wake up and be like, you know what? Aquarius is great. You are. You are. You bring so much to the table and you do so much for so many other people and you take care of so many other people. My problem is what do you do for you? Bear your own water for a change. That's what this is telling you to do in this new moon EIC energy check in. That's what this is telling you to do. Take these energy check ins as your personal message of something of action. Don't waste so much time investing um, your, your time and watching videos on what somebody ain't telling you and how they feel about you because they're they're equally not taking action. But if you're an individual who has to think about something and stay and, and, and think so much to the opportunity just goes away and now you pissed off, but you're mad at the world, especially when I'm looking at this King of Wands energy. You can't be mad at the world for something that you did to yourself. I'm out of here. This is your story and it resonates. Please do me a favor. Don't listen to the harshness of the message. Try to extract the meaning out of what I'm saying instead of jumping on the defensive. I know you guys like your messages and the pretty little bow in the package. But some of you guys that rock with me, you appreciate the way I give it to you. And if you're catching this new and you don't like it, may God bless you and you could just go ahead and click off. Because we're not going to argue about it. I'm about the energy. I don't know you personally. So if you happen to be an Aquarius that's not like that, because this is how I'm interpreting my cards today, then this isn't your reading. I do wish you the best. And I know you guys got a lot going on. Pluto just moved into Aquarius too. So that's affecting your first house. That's going to be redoing who you are over the next 20 years, 20, 30 years. You got a lot going on, but we all got hit. Aqua, we all got hit. It's not just you. All right, guys. I hope you took that. Don't don't check out because you didn't like the way it sounded. Do that for me. Talk to you soon. Bye, Aqua.